Welcome back. So let's try to understand how mControl in the digital home works. Consider one of the most simplest projects, which is automating a light, often one of the very first projects that our customers under undertake. We have a regular old school wall switch that we'd like to replace. We want to control and automate it because it only understands manual button presses or toggles. So let's get rid of this and we'll go out to the local hardware store or perhaps an online web store where you might have more product selection and get a smart switch. For now let's not complicate this video and talk about technologies and what's going on underneath the hood. Let's just say that this is a digital home ready switch and by digital home ready we mean that it has some smarts built in to accept commands from a computer or a remote and of course you can still operate it manually that goes without saying once the wall switch is in installed you're ready to move on to the next step which is mControl go to the embedded automation website and download mControl version 3 which is available as a trial mControl will act as the engine for your digital home allowing you to control and automate all of your digital home devices including your new light switch Okay, we're ready for the next step in the process, which is adding the adapter. The adapter is the piece that converts the commands from mControl into a language that the light switch understands. For the sake of this example, we used an adapter that will plug into our USB port. Many digital home devices need this adapter since they, are, they use special technologies. technologies that are unlike the technologies used in your PC like Wi-Fi. This adapter talks in the language of the light switch. Not only does the adapter speak the language of your light switch, it also knows how to get to your light switch. Depending on the technology you've selected for your light switch, the adapter may talk wirelessly or it may talk via your home's electrical wiring or in some special cases over dedicated wiring that you've put in. Now we're ready to use mControl. First we'll need to tell mControl the adapter we're using. Then we use the mControl editor to tell mControl about the device. This is what the mControl editor looks like. It runs in your browser. Once, once that's done, you're ready to operate the device from your computer. So to close off, let's consider an actual light switch and trace the path to turn that light switch on. We would go down to your mControl editor, we would press on, that message would come into your mControl engine which would be relayed over the adapter into the language of the light switch. The light switch would receive the message and once it's interpreted that message, it would turn the light switch on. The light switch would be on there, and mControl would record that light switch on there. So within this video, we've covered the very basics of how mControl works. We saw that we needed to replace our dumb manual-only device with a smart digital home-ready device. We downloaded and installed mControl. Then we added the adapter, which is the link between mControl and the smart device. We even trace the path on how mControl operates the device. With this concept in mind, we're ready to move on to other scenarios discussing technologies and we'll do that in the subsequent videos.